So how did we end up getting married by a robot? <laughs> I found like this uh, Italian toy robot for forty dollars. I said I have a new bridesmaid. Why don't we have a robot minister? Rob's smart. The the um, robot as purchased was a little campy. It was cool, but I thought we could really make this a character. So we kind of came up with a, a backstory for him. Father Amiglio. Father Amiglio. He was a chaplain in the robot army. Hence all the antennas. He can communicate with. God wirelessly. It's really sophisticated. When he comes out, he plays the final countdown. We did have a, a human minister, my good friend Eric Sherman. Miglio was a handful. He was a little, a little sassy. argumentative, a little sassy. Oh, sassy. He sort of interrupted Eric a few times. If there be any among you who know of any reason why this should not be done, let them now speak or forever remain silent. On the basis of logic, I object. I object. Please. First Heidegger, Husserl, even Immanuel Kant. They used to rap on and on about time and space. Do they exist beforehand or... Stop. Stop. Enough. He definitely thinks that he's uh better than us all. Yeah, better. Yeah. He might be. Maybe. We'd like to make Amiglio available for your wedding. Because we love robots and we can't be the only ones. There's gotta be someone else out there that would want to get married by a robot. Once our robot overlords take over, you probably won't be allowed to marry. So, um, I'd say get in on the ground floor. That's right. On the whole robot marriage thing. Check out itsmcawesome.blogspot.com for details about how you can get blanked by a robot. And by blanked, she means... Married, emceed. Bar mitzvahed. Moiled. Uh, you could have a retirement party with a robot. You could... Uh, Jumpy castle. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. No, it's...